You're watching a segment of The Splash, Greater West Bloomfield's news magazine show. Welcome back to The Splash. I'm Sheena Monin. In the studio with me this week is Jack Butler, founder of Kiko Harbor Pottery and CEO of Butler Graphics. Jack, thanks so much for stopping by the studio today. So fun. Yeah, Glad to I'm, be here. I'm really excited because you have lots of beautiful pieces here today. Mm, but thanks. before we start talking about them individually, can you let us know how your journey took you in so many places, but specifically in this direction? Well, when I was 10, my folks went uh, camping up in Charlevoix, and I met Bonnie Staffel, who is actually still up there, and I went to see her this uh, summer. Uh, we had a family reunion up there, and um, she's uh, still practicing and still uh, encouraging people to uh, play with clay. And all my life I wanted to, but uh, school and my business got involved in it, so it's just in the last 10 years I've been able to really uh, experiment with clay and take it to where I want to go. So I started about 10 years ago at uh, Poabic Pottery, uh, taking classes there. And I was such an ADD child, they said, uh, you know, we're going to have to slow you down a little bit. So I built my own kiln in my backyard up in Kego Harbor on Sylvan Lake. And uh, it's been going really great. You built your own kiln. Now that's amazing yes, well, in and of itself. Halfway through, my teacher said, you'll never understand how they work unless you build your own. And halfway through, I realized, wait a second, I never built my own car, and I think I could uh, uh, do just fine driving somebody else's car. However, I have to say that it really helped me understand the process. There's, there's a lot involved. There's a lot of technical stuff involved with uh, throwing pots. Wow, throwing pots. That yes. sounds fun. Sheena likes it that is, one. It is. <laughs> okay. Very good. So tell me a little bit about the, the impact that creating art has had on you as an individual. Well, the thing I liked about pottery is that the vessels that I make are mostly uh, celebration vessels or food for sharing with people. And I like the idea that they bring community together. I'm the oldest of eight kids, so uh, meeting around the dinner table is a communal affair. And uh, so I make pots that are um, you know, appropriate for that. In fact, my first commission was making 600 plates for Otis Supply, uh, part of the toast people down in Ferndale. And my teacher said, you didn't say yes, did you? Because 600 plates is a lot of work. And I said, oh, yeah, I said I'd do it in three months. It actually took a year. Wow. But uh, I got really good at making plates. <laughs> oh. So did they all have to be the same? They are surprisingly similar. Oh. They, there's a variance because each one is handmade. Yeah. But uh, they stack, so that's important for yes. a production kitchen. And, uh, yes, you can see my stuff at Otis Supply, at Park Detroit, and Mudgee's downtown in Corktown. Exciting. So I've got stuff all over. Yeah, you do. And so cool. tell me a little bit about how you, you know you started Kigo Harbor Pottery. This mm -hmm. is a new phase in your life. Yeah. You are already the CEO of your own graphics company. I mean, I don't know how you have time to do all of this, but tell me a little bit about your transition and how art has allowed you to start a brand new chapter in your life. Well, uh, it's always been part of everything. And one of the things that's so exciting about having a business or doing uh, the pottery is problem solving. So each of the each of the steps in learning this uh, technique and the craft has been solving the problem of what to do with the dust and the uh, grime and stuff that accumulates because the pottery is part of my house, and so just keeping the place clean is a, a little uh, exercise in uh, creative thinking. And uh, I've been able to involve my neighbors. I've invited them to the kiln openings and. It's, it's a lot about community, though throwing pots is a solitary activity. The community that builds around potters and people sharing pots is really kind of fun. So all of my neighbors are involved, especially my next door neighbor was very concerned the first time I lit the kiln, there were four foot flames coming out of the chimney. <laughs> He's about three inches away from his garage is about three inches away from my kiln. And he was a little concerned, but uh, it worked out well. And and if people are concerned, I just give them a pot. And there they, you go. Absolutely. Right away. <laughs> <laughs> in that case, I'm very concerned right yes, now. Yes, <laughs> well, jump in. <laughs> Take one. <laughs> All right, so which piece would you like to briefly tell us about Well, here? this is a current piece. I've, I'm learning to make uh, beveled pieces. So this is not thrown. This is um, constructed from slab. But one of the interesting things is these markings on the side that you can see are my fingerprints from when I hold it and dip it in the glaze, oh. 
oh. there that fits like this. So I'll dip it in the glaze and it creates those little marks from where my fingers are. So the mark of the hand of the potter is actually part of the glaze. <laughs> and people can use them as pedestals for other things, but in general, most people just use them as um, art, art objects themselves. And in fact, I have little two-inch cubes that people use like worry stones, and okay. I can't make enough of them. Yeah, so absolutely. It's Great. Fun. So you would probably definitely recommend that people who are looking for a, a life career transition give art a try. It's oh, definitely been fulfilling it's, for you. It's completely it's uh, re-energizing and uh, really uh, charges me up and gets me involved in the whole pottery community, which is quite large in Michigan. Uh, the uh, Ceramics uh, Association is the feeder into Ensica, which is their national chapter, which has about 10,000 potters meet every year. It's remarkable. Oh. Thanks so much for stopping by. We really appreciate your time. Glad to be here. Thank you. Once again, we've been talking with Jack Butler, local pottery artist, founder of Kiko Harbor Pottery, and CEO of Butler Graphics. Thanks for watching a segment of The Splash. To catch the entire show or other segments, watch us on Comcast Channel 15 or AT&T Channel 99. Or look us up online at thesplash.tv and listen to us on WBLD 89.3, the all-new Lakes FM.